because people used to both of us, mm-hmm. but when I got up there and it was just me by myself and I'm always promoting free JT, free JT. I try to make it a movement and they always screaming free JT. It just made me feel comfortable because it still feel like she there because the crowd give me the energy. They sing her parts word for word. So Young Miami finally speaks up about the breakup of their duo, City Girls. So I guess every friendship as strong as theirs could somehow fall apart in the long run. But what really happened to them for them to avoid each other so badly? Considering that they have been through a lot and they were there for each other during some of the toughest times of their lives. This was really shocking and suspicious for many of the duo's fans. Apparently, the tea has long been brewing but we're not just seeing what's happening behind the scenes. These two basically grew up together and were on each other's side throughout their careers. You guys must have remembered when JT was in prison and Young Miami still got her back. That is why people really believe that time that if they were able to get past that, then anything that comes between them would not matter as much. What's up? It's Carisha and you watch a baller like I need me a baller. Period. During the time that JT was in prison, Young Miami made sure that she always promoted their music and attended events on JT's behalf. She never took it as a chance to go solo and explore her options alone. She knew that she wanted to continue her career in the music industry with JT. We would love to know if she was regretting having her back during the situation. Their career actually boomed even though they were only doing music for quite a while compared to the other groups out there. I mean, yes, somehow, along the way, they might want different things which would lead the group breaking. But fans think it's too soon, especially that they have known each other even before they became known and popular. There is something more to this drama than just simply growing apart and wanting different things. Of course, their supporters are already picking sides and pointed out some clues that can possibly be the reason behind the separation. Well, even though Young Miami was really there for JT when the other was in prison, rumors say that it is not the case anymore. It looks like she's not backing her up any longer like she used to. I guess she's now sticking to people that can give her the things that she wants, right? I mean, it is certainly not wrong to weigh your options, especially if you're just getting to where you want to be, but you can always keep the friendships that you had when you were still not as popular. No, 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 no. I feel like we at a stage, we grown. Mm -hmm. We started this shit, we wasn't that young, but we were young. Mm -hmm. And it was all new to us. And I feel like we had a stage in our life where we kind of figured it out. Knowing that they rose to fame together, it's just expected that people would always have something to say about them. JT was always there for young Miami to fight her battles, especially whenever she was being dragged online because of the things that she would say. JT made sure that she called out these people who were hating on young Miami for no apparent reason. She was like her bodyguard of some sort, especially when it comes to the attacks Miami was getting on the internet. But where was young Miami when JT needed her to have her back? She could have at least shown that she was on JT's side. This could be one of the main reasons for their falling out. Remember when JT immediately defended young Miami against Diddy's side chick, Gina H? She was quick to show support for her bestie, but when it was JT being caught up in a feud with Cardi B, young Miami was completely silent about this. We started this shit, we wasn't that young, but we were young. Mm -hmm. And it was all new to us. And I feel like we had a stage in our life where we kind of figured it out. And we we, we are figuring out that we are powerful together and we are powerful with separate so we can make money both ways you get what i'm trying to say we would understand if she does not want to make this messier but it was obvious that she was not even giving support to jt well if we are in jt situation we would somehow feel betrayed knowing that these two had been through a lot cardi and jt had called each other names and their exchanges on twitter is something that people really followed through hurtful and offensive words were thrown and cardi even called jt Nicki minaj's lapdog Additionally, she said that JT was untalented as she's not a hit maker. The fight was really juicy. If it was young Miami being dragged and clowned like that, JT would be on her phone typing shady jabs right away. What's even funnier is that young Miami tried to get her way around the situation when people started looking for her during the fight. She tweeted, I just woke up. Come on, that's the best reason she's got? It sounds so lame, honestly. She was obviously trying to play it safe. Why though? Was she afraid of Cardi and did not want to say anything that would offend her? But before we get deeper into the video, if you love JT or Young Miami and want to see more videos about them, then make sure that you subscribe to our channel right away. I will always make sure to keep you updated whenever a hot mess is brewing about these two and more. Because of the situation, fans immediately suspect that there was something wrong with the duo's friendship. You know if you never go see him again, baby, you better go for what you know. You better, <laughs> you better fuck for your life. So the next time when he walk off, 
you got it. He goes, damn, she got some good pussy. Cracks in their relationship became more and more evident, and people have seen more signs that are proving that their speculations were actually true. When you're celebrating your birthday, of course your bestie should be there. But when Young Miami celebrated hers, JD was nowhere near the scene. It is something new knowing that they were always at each other's side whenever there are events, shows, and parties. That being said, it also became clear that there is a deeper problem as they are no longer attending industry events together. During the Rock Nation brunch, JT was there but Young Miami was not by her side. Right now, they might not give us the important stuff but they do not have to confirm anything because it is pretty obvious that they are not on good terms any longer. Both are focused on different things which they must have pursued because their relationship became strained anyway. Whose side are you guys on? I would love to know if you're Team JT or Team Miami. Comment your thoughts down below. Many of you might have noticed that Miami was really focusing so much of her time on her Carisha Please show. On the other hand, JT recently became an ambassador for KISS. Even though it is sad to see them growing apart and pursuing different paths, it must be for the better, especially if they don't want the same things anymore. But you know, some supporters are still sad that they could not even keep their friendship when they are not agreeing on their career. Well, Young Miami looks like she does not want JT anymore because she now has her own show, selling some merch, and Diddy was helping her promote her own brand. Whatever her real score is with Diddy, it looks like she was the one who first ditched JT, and that says a lot for her. What are your thoughts on female rappers at this point? That category of female rappers, 2018, what do you make of that scenario? Additionally, Miami's relationship with Diddy is something that people believe to be another reason why Carisha forgot about City Girls and does not give much attention to their music or music in general anymore. Girl sure knows that she can get whatever she wants with Diddy by her side, so she must still be enjoying the moment while she still can. Also, Miami had tweeted about her not doing rap anymore and that she retired. Okay, so if the Cardi situation was not yet a betrayal, then this one is. Because of this, many believe that Miami was the problem in this friendship. Although we cannot say for sure since we cannot see behind the scenes, the clues and signs are pointing out that it was because of Miami. If I were JT, I would also be so done with all the acts that Miami was pulling off. Really fire your guests on Carisha, please. I'll be tuned in. Who else would you want to give the smoke to? Like, who's your dream, like, interview that you want on your show? One person that I would want to give a smoke to is Cardi B. Like, I want, like, I think that, you know, we should smoke it up. But my dream um, interview would be Beyonce. She's likely thinking about the same thing because she recently unfollowed the City Girls official account on Instagram. Rumor has it as well that Miami has been wanting to have Cardi on her show as a guest. I mean, could the signs even be clearer? It is so obvious that she left JT behind and that is also what the fans are seeing. Many of them are siding with JT saying that young Miami is fake because she still wants to interview Cardi after she dragged her then best friend. I mean, they were inseparable before so it will be easy to see if they are drifting apart from each other. I'm having what? fun. I like it. I feel like the first time it mm -hmm. was fun because mm -hmm. it was like my first tour. It was experience. Now I kind of feel like it's work. Yeah. Anyway, even though Young Miami was really the one who started to put a crack on their friendship, JT never dragged her and was quiet throughout all these speculations. She could have said something and let people know what Carisha did to her, but no, she's trying to move on with her life and try out new opportunities alone. She has more room for growth now that she can do music with herself only. Another person on social media commented that it would be better for JT to go solo since she was the one who really got potential between her and Miami. JT might not want to steer any more drama, but we cannot help but to look forward to what will happen next to both of them. Would it still be possible to see them together in the future? Maybe, but not the way they used to. Many are saying though that this could be just a misunderstanding and that their friendship would still be bigger at the end of the day. Whether this is just a phase and temporary, it would not change the fact that there were some betrayals that were committed. But both seemed not bothered anyway. Possibly because both of them have a lot of things going on right now. Anyway, we would love to see them at least addressing if they're still friends or stop their friendship altogether because of the things that transpired. But if you're gonna ask me, I think that they can mend this friendship in the future, especially if we're gonna think about how they grew up together and witness the worst in each other's lives. It would take time though since it's likely that no one expected for things to end this way. We'll never know, but maybe JT is working on another song that will give us another easter egg to ponder on. 
If they will no longer do music together, at least we're hoping they're still rooting for each other's success since they are walking different paths now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out these videos.